Hello everyone, welcome to our first Q&A episode. So this is the episode where I answer all the questions that you leave in the comments. So let's see how this goes. Question number one, Easy asks, what's the difference between a rhythm and a melody? Uh, so this is a very good question because I say these things a lot. Rhythm to melodic. Rhythmic melodic. And at first I thought that it was going to be an easy question, but it, it's not. And I will answer it in two parts. An easy part, A, and a um, harder part, B. So let's go to part A now. So one note can play rhythm, but one note cannot play melody. Uh, for example, uh, this is the rhythm to the song Happy Birthday to You. Right? And I can also do it with one note, like this. So as you can see, one note can do the happy birthday rhythm quite properly, but no matter how perfectly I do it with one note, it will not start singing happy birthday until I add another note. So if I add one more note and try to do it, so as you can see there, happy birthday song started happening, right? Just because we added another note. So in short, a rhythm can be done with one note, but for a melody to happen, you need more than one note. That doesn't sound like a good enough explanation, right? So let's go to part B now. So I'll start by explaining three things, frequency, pitch, and note. So let's start with frequency. Frequency just means how frequent something happens or how many times something happens in a second. So let's say my claps like this. If we put a second hand, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, which means my hands are clapping at six times in a second, which means six hertz. So my hands cannot clap fast enough to do any musical illustration. So we need something that can happen many times faster in a second uh, than my hands, which are those little explosions in a car engine. So let's go to the car now. So now that you understand what frequency is, let's go to pitch now. So pitch is so much easier because if you understand frequency, the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. The lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. So uh, fr pitch just means how high or how low the frequency is. Let's go to notes now. So just as people agreed with each other that this length means centimeter, this length means kilometer, or this weight means k g or and things like that um we and music also agreed uh, that a certain frequency means a certain key for example if something happens 440 times in one second it's happening in a frequency we've decided to name a for example so uh so a note is a representation of a specific frequency for example the note a represents 440 hertz okay so now that you understand those things we can go to the differences now of rhythm and melody so rhythm is the arrangement of notes in terms of time and melody is the arrangement of notes in terms of pitch again this was a really good question question number two so kitu asks What's the differences between the, the sticks of the marimbas and do the differences uh, make any effect? So yeah, this is also a good question which I'll also answer in two parts. Yes, there are different sticks for different marimbas. Bigger marimbas require bigger sticks with uh, a softer head and smaller marimbas require smaller sticks with a harder head. And the differences in the hardness of the rubber matters so much that if you use the wrong stick on the wrong marimba, it won't even make a musical sound. Um, so that doesn't seem like a good enough explanation as well. So let's go to part B now So the smaller the marimba the higher the peach now, you know what peach means by now, 
right? Which means those smaller marimbas vibrate very, very fast and they need something hard to kickstart the quick vibration. So think of a knife, for example. Uh, it's very hard and very thin so that uh, all the energy you put into the knife is focused and concentrated onto that one tiny point so that it's easier to cut someone's hand off. For example. So in a similar way, since the smaller wood from the smaller marimba needs to vibrate faster, it needs something hard to hit it because something hard will focus all the energy and transfer the energy to the wood very very immediately like very quickly and you need that energy transfer to be quick so that a quick vibration can be kick-started so bigger marimbas vibrate slower which which is why they require softer sticks which absorb some of the impact to slow down the energy transfer uh, and this is actually good for the kickstarting of a slower vibration. So if you got lost anywhere, that's okay. You can just keep repeating until you understand. If you still don't, you can just use the part A. It, it, it will be good enough. On to the last question now. So Romang asks if there's a way to come and do some practical lessons. Uh, so not at the moment yet, but plans are being made. I'm working with different people. I'm working with House of Kuumba which is a repository of a lot of African music from the very first recordings up to modern African music. And the idea is to create a community where you can come and listen to to the, these uh, so songs like you can't even find them online or on TV or anywhere so things will be explained and and we'll have some fun with that uh, so all this will take a lot of time and effort and money and support um, so if you want to be part of it and you want to see everything happening you can just support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel grow the channel bigger and everything will become clearer as time goes on Keep the questions coming and I'll see you next week.